When creating cast and plastic parts, you often are required to add draft on your parts so that they can be molded. A draft is an angle or taper applied to faces of a part or mold that makes it easier to remove the part once it is fabricated. When creating extrudes and sweeps, you can predefine a taper angle. But most of the time, it's easier to just apply the draft after all the features are created. The draft tool can also be found on the modify panel. When the dialog box pops up, you can see there are two main options, fixed edge and fixed plane. Before I go over these options, let me quickly show you how to create a face draft. I'll first select this face as the direction of the pull. If it is pointed in the wrong direction, you can flip it using this button. Then, I'll select the face to add the draft. You can see preview arrows showing the direction of pull and how the angle is being measured. Finally, I can change the draft angle using this box. And then click OK to add the draft and close the dialog box. Like most features, you can right-click the draft we created in the browser and suppress it to return to the original part. Simply right-click and unsuppress it if you want to bring it back. In this case, you can see that material was removed from the part. Applying draft can either add or remove material, or in some cases, both. Let me show you what I mean. I'll switch over to a different part and click on the draft icon. This brings up the face draft dialog box. The fixed edge option will apply a draft along an edge or multiple edges. First, I'll define a direction of pull, which can be a face or linear edge. Then I can select the faces which I would like to apply the draft to. Even though the draft type is called fixed edge, you must select a face to draft. So if you want to add a draft along a curve on a face, you must use the split tool. The type is called fixed edge because the draft will always start from the selected edge. Similarly, the fixed plane option will calculate the draft from the selected plane. You first define a draft plane, which acts as both the direction of pull and start location of the draft. This option can be very useful when working with offset tool surfaces, since it will project an imaginary line from the plane and add or remove material once it intersects with the face. This can also be used for parts with an intersecting plane. Material will be removed above the direction of pull and added below the fixed plane. I know that this can be confusing, so I recommend trying the different selections yourself while paying close attention to the preview arrows. The arrows will tell you how the draft will affect the face by adding or removing material. So feel free to experiment with the settings here a little bit. And when the preview looks the way you want it, simply press OK to finish the draft.